Hello, this is the HP 2015 printer, um, and it currently does not work. I'm going to go ahead and show you on top, turning it on the side. It gives a pretty loud noise. And it constantly has this air here. Uh, doesn't do any more than that. Um, so, looked online and it says paper jam. There is no jam anywhere on the particular printer. Um, so, obviously, it looks like something else is definitely wrong with it. Uh, doing some research online uh, led me to conclude that this particular printer has a bad formatter. And what I'm going to do is attempt to bake it in the oven for five minutes at 400 to 425 degrees. Uh, just to also show you that it's registering on the laptop as an unknown device, if you can tell here. Um, not 100% positive you can see it, but unknown device that is right here. So currently, even though the printer is actually hooked up, it doesn't register it. And it says uh, device not recognized. So we're going to attempt to bake it, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, fast forwarding just a bit. I uh, had a bit of a hassle taking the side panel off, but the printer insides. Uh, basically the, well, the corners here were a bit of a problem. The bottoms were easy to get off but didn't want to come off. It was a little bit stubborn. Anyway, there is a total of five connection points you got to be aware of. Uh, two, you have three wire connections here and two ribbon connections here, front and bottom. And don't forget this one right here at the bottom here. Now you have four screws you got to take apart and I'll do that next. Okay, now the formatter board, or as various other sites have called it, uh, this is now free, and uh, what's happening apparently, according to the websites I've learned, is that the solder points on the back of this thing uh, aren't getting a good connection, which is causing those errors to happen on the both computer and on the uh, lights part of the uh, uh, printer. I'm going to go ahead and bake it on a cookie sheet uh, using tin foil. Uh, I'm actually going to put it on a slight little rest uh, so it goes up there. Um, so it stands above the tin foil itself. You don't want to actually make the connection. Uh, there's something about that I heard. Anyway, I'm going to attempt to bake it at 400 degrees at uh, for five minutes on the dot. So I'm going to go ahead and warm the, warm the uh, oven up right now. Thanks. Okay, so the formatter board is ready and prepped to go. Uh, the cookie sheet has aluminum foil. Uh, I also put little pegs of aluminum foil uh, at the bottom here to go underneath the board itself at the uh, screw hole points. Uh, so it actually kind of rests right on top of it. Uh, now I've heard from a couple of uh, videos that you don't actually need to do that. Uh, I like to err on the side of, ca of caution, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and raise it myself. Whether or not it's actually needed, I don't know, but uh, my limited technological knowledge uh, kind of tells me that it's probably better to keep the solder points out of the actual direct contact with other metal. So, and the oven is about done with the preheating and I will put it in next. Okay, so we are ready to put this into the oven. I currently have it set to 410 degrees because my oven is actually slightly less. I know I've actually tested it before, so it's actually 400 degrees, not 410. Uh, I got my timer set for five minutes and not quite putting that in yet, but all right, let's put this into the top rack because I only had two and we will go from there. Okay, so the timer is about to go off. I'm uh, going to put my uh, hands down a bit here so it's going to be resting. And 
and okay. Now I got to let let it rest for about ten minutes. So I'll reset my timer and I'll uh, go ahead and install it then. Okay, the ten minutes are up after the bake, and upon closer inspection, it looks like there's some minor. Uh, resin scoring on there, and a little bit of black marks, uh, and right in the very center of the screen, uh, also right here. Uh, and then that on the other side, pretty much everything looks pretty good except for this here. I think it's uh, been kind of molded to the frame itself, and a little bit of uh, uh, peeling up on the sides. Uh, this is for the memory, uh, med additional memory uh, compartment. Anyway, I'll go ahead and install it. I'm going to do everything I can with one hand, but I'm not going to turn it on and do, do a live presentation, I guess. Okay, so the board has been screwed back in. I'm going to go ahead and attach each of these little devices. I'd be very, very careful with the ribbons. I had one incident in my past where I actually tore a ribbon and uh, learned my lesson and uh, not on anything recent but uh, back in an old Epson printer. Alright, there we are. Let's see if I can get my fat fingers in here. This does not want to go in. Okay, so four pieces there. I'll go ahead and plug that in next. Excuse me, I got to do the uh, plug. Okay. So apparently the light's on. Nothing yet. Actually, that's further along than it's ever gotten. Uh, I haven't seen that come out in a while. It looks, ooh, looks, looks nice. Uh, what are we getting there? What kind of air is that? Oh, toner. <laughs> okay. Uh, gotta put the toner in. I meant to do that last time because I saw another video that the guy forgot to do that. So. Also the paper cartridge. Excuse me, I gotta put this down for a second. Okay, I have no clue what you just saw, but hopefully nothing too bad. Anyway, uh, now to do the test. Uh, and I'm gonna wake my printer up or computer up real quickly. Okay, first off, we are getting a green light, which is the first time I've seen that in a long time. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wake the computer up. Okay, so we are have no unknown device, and hopefully it will install it correctly this time. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Alrighty. Okay, oop, I hear a noise. And the printer's doing something. And it just did something, it just printed something. Hey, whoa! We are good, it is a working, working printer. Holy cow! Okay, uh, I'm about right out of the paper, so. Uh, it is working, and apparently the bake fix does in fact work. So, or at least on this one. Uh, thank you for all, and thank you everyone for the awesome videos you guys have posted in the past. And I'm sorry for being a blurry at certain points. Uh, my bad. I am doing all this again.
with one hand sometimes and it's on a very high-end camera so not designed for point and click like a iPhone. Thanks a lot.